Transformers is a series of American science fiction action films based on the toys created by Hasbro and Tomy. Michael Bay has directed Transformers, 2007, Revenge of the Fallen, 2009, Dark of the Moon, 2011, Age of Extinction, 2014, and The Last Night, 2017. A Bumblebee spin-off, directed by Travis Knight, is scheduled for 2018, and a sixth film is to be released in 2019. The series has been distributed by Paramount Pictures and DreamWorks. The series has received a mixed critical reception, critics expressed criticism on the plots, crude humor, overuse of product placements and the lengths of the films. However, many praised the visual effects, action sequences and music. It is the 11th highest grossing film series, with a total of $3.7 billion. Two films in the series have individually grossed over $1 billion. Equals equals films equals 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 Transformers, 2007, equals equals equals. Transformers is the first film in the series, released on July 3, 2007. It grossed $709.7 million worldwide, and garnered mixed to positive reviews, scoring 57 on Rotten Tomatoes. It was directed by Michael Bay from a screenplay by Roberto Orsi and Alex Kurtzman and a story by Kurtzman, Orsi and John Rogers, and starred Shia LaBeouf and Megan Fox. Equals 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 Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen, 2009. Equals 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 Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen is the second film in the series, released on June 24, 2009. It grossed 830. $36.3 million worldwide, and garnered negative reviews, scoring 19 on Rotten Tomatoes. It was directed by Michael Bay from a screenplay written by Aaron Kruger, Roberto Orsi and Alex Kurtzman, and starred Shia LaBeouf and Megan Fox. Equals 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 Transformers, Dark of the Moon, 2011. Equals 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 Transformers, Dark of the Moon is the third film in the series, released on June 29, 2011, in 3D and IMAX 3D. It grossed $1.124 billion worldwide, and garnered mixed reviews with a 35 on Rotten Tomatoes. It was directed by Michael Bay from a screenplay written by Aaron Kruger and starred Shia LaBeouf and Rosie Huntington Whiteley. Equals 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 Transformers, Age of Extinction, 2014. Equals 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 Transformers, Age of Extinction is the fourth film in the series, released on June 27, 2014, in 2D and 3D. It grossed $1.104 billion worldwide, and garnered negative reviews as the worst rated on Rotten Tomatoes, with a score of 18. It was directed by Michael Bay from a screenplay written by Aaron Kruger, and starred Mark Wahlberg and Stanley Tucci. Equals 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 Transformers, The Last Night, 2017. Equals 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 Transformers, The Last Night is the fifth film in the series. Filming started in May 2016 and ended in December 2016. It is directed by Michael Bay from a screenplay written by Art Markham, Matt Holloway and Ken Nolan, and stars Mark Wahlberg and Anthony Hopkins. This film was the final time Michael Bay directs, as the franchise will search for a new director for future sequels. The Last Night was released on June 21, 2017 in 2D and 3D to negative reviews as the worst rated of the series, with a score of 15 by Rotten Tomatoes. Equals equals future equals 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 Transformers Universe, Bumblebee, 2018. Equals 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 Transformers franchise leader for Hasbro, Tom Warner, announced on February 12, 2016, that the next film in the series would be released on June 8, 2018. Later it was revealed that rather than a main entry, the film is to be a spin-off, starring Bumblebee with Christina Hodson writing the script and Travis Knight directing the film as his live-action directorial debut. In March 2017, it was revealed that the plot will focus on a younger age Bumblebee making the film a prequel. Filming is to begin in July 2017. Equals 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 Untitled Sixth Transformers Film, 2019, equals equals equals. In his February 12, 2016 announcement, Tom Warner, the Transformers franchise leader for Hasbro, also stated that a sequel to Transformers, The Last Night, is to be released on June 28, 2019. It has been called Transformers 6, but is untitled now and the studio is in search for a new director for the sixth film. Equals 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 other films in development equals equals equals. In May 2015, it was reported that a film centered around the origins of the Autobots and Decepticons, tentatively titled Transformers 1, is in development with Ant-Man and the Wasp screenwriters Andrew Barrer and Gabrielle Ferrari. This followed a writer's room collaboration rendered by Paramount Pictures to determine the future of the Transformers franchise. On March 28, 2013, during the release of G.I. Joe, Retaliation, 
producer Di Bonaventura announced that he is open to doing a G.I. Joe Transformers crossover on July 26, 2013. G.I. Joe Retaliation director John M. Chu stated that he is also interested in directing a Transformers G.I. Joe crossover film. Despite Di Bonaventura stating that a crossover was not likely to happen in June 2014, he later said that a crossover was still a possibility. On October 23, 2015, John M. Chu confirmed his intentions to make a crossover film between Transformers, G.I. Joe, and Gem. On October 29, 2015, Chu hinted about Transformers possibly doing crossovers with other Hasbro products. On January 18, 2017, DJ Caruso, who is directing the third G.I. Joe movie, stated that the script for the crossover movie is now being written. In April 2017, Michael Bay stated that, as a result of the writer's room, there are 14 stories completed for potential future Transformers films. Equals equals expanded universe equals equals. In addition to the films, the film series has a promotional expanded series that is set both before and after the events of the films. This includes comic books, video games, and novels. While the novels are partially based Based on the films themselves, and the video games aren't in the same continuity as the films, the comic books and graphic novels are in the same continuity and fill in several parts of the stories from the films. Equals equals cast and characters equals 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 production and development equals 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 Transformers equals 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 for the first film. Producer Don Murphy was planning a G.I. Joe film adaptation, but when the United States launched the invasion of Iraq in March 2003, Hasbro suggested adapting the Transformers franchise instead. Tom DeSanto joined Murphy because he was a fan of the series. They met with comic book writer Simon Furman, and cited the Generation 1 cartoon and comics as their main influence. They made the Creation Matrix their plot device, though Murphy had it renamed because of the film series The Matrix. DeSanto chose to write the treatment from a human point of view to engage the audience, while Murphy wanted it to have a realistic tone, reminiscent of a disaster film. The treatment featured the Autobots Optimus Prime, Ironhide, Jazz, Prowl, RC, Ratchet, Wheeljack, and Bumblebee, and the Decepticons Megatron, Starscream, Soundwave, Ravage, Laserbeak, Rumble, Skywarp and Shockwave. Steven Spielberg, a fan of the comics and toys, signed on as executive producer in 2004. John Rogers wrote the first draft, which pitted four Autobots against four Decepticons, and featured the Ark spaceship. Roberto Orsi and Alex Kurtzman, fans of the cartoon, were hired to rewrite the script in February 2005. Spielberg suggested that a boy and his car should be the focus. This appealed to Orsi and Kurtzman because it conveyed themes of adulthood and responsibility, the things that a car represents in the United States. The characters of Sam and Michaela were the sole point of view given in Orsi and Kurtzman's first draft. The Transformers had no dialogue, as the producers feared talking robots would look ridiculous. The writers felt that even if it would look silly, not having the robots speak would betray the fanbase. The first draft also had a battle scene in the Grand Canyon. Spielberg read each of Orsi and Kurtzman's drafts and gave notes for a improvement. The writers remained involved throughout production, adding additional dialogue for the robots during the sound mixing, although none of this was kept in the final film, which ran 15 minutes shorter than the initial edit. Furman's The Ultimate Guide, published by Dorling Kindersley, remained as a resource to the writers throughout production. Prime Directive was used as a fake working title. This was also the name of Dreamwave Productions' first Transformers comic book. Michael Bay was asked to direct by Spielberg on July 30, 2005, but he dismissed the film as a stupid toy movie. Nonetheless, he wanted to work with Spielberg, and gained a new respect for the mythology upon visiting Hasbro. Bay considered the first draft too kitty, so he increased the military's role in the story. The writers sought inspiration from G.I. Joe for the soldier characters, being careful not to mix the brands. Because Orsi and Kurtzman were concerned the film could feel like a military recruitment commercial, they chose to make the military believe nations like Iran were behind the Decepticon attack as well as making the Decepticons primarily military vehicles. Bay based Lennox's struggle to get to the Pentagon phone line while struggling with an unhelpful operator from a real account he was given by a soldier when working on another film. Orsi and Kurtzman experimented with numerous robots from the franchise, ultimately ultimately selecting the characters most popular among the filmmakers to form the final cast. Bay acknowledged that most of the Decepticons were selected before their names or roles were developed, as Hasbro had to start designing the toys. Some of their names were changed because Bay was upset that they had been leaked. Optimus, Megatron, Bumblebee and Starscream were the only characters present in each version of the script. RC was a female Transformer introduced by Orsi and Kurtzman, but she was cut because they found it difficult to explain robotic gender. Bay also disliked her motor 
motorcycle form, which he found too small, an early idea to have the Decepticons simultaneously strike multiple places around the world was also dropped, being used later in the film sequels, equals 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 Revenge of the Fallen equals equals equals, in September 2007, Paramount announced a late June 2009 release date for the sequel to Transformers. A major hurdle that was overcome during the film's production was the 2007-2008 Writers Guild of America strike, as well as possible strikes by the Directors Guild of America and the Screen Actors Guild. They began creating animatics of action sequences featuring characters rejected for the 2007 film. This would allow animators to complete sequences if the Directors Guild of America went on strike in July 2008, which ultimately did not happen. The director considered making a small project in between Transformers and its sequel, but knew you have your baby and you don't want someone else to take it. The film was given a $200 million budget, which was $50 million more than the 2007 film, and some of the action scenes rejected for the original were written into the sequel, such as the way Optimus is reintroduced in this film. Lorenzo Di Bonaventura said the studio proposed filming two sequels simultaneously, but he and Bacon concurred that was not the right direction for the series. Writers Roberto or Dorsey and Alex Kurtzman originally passed on the sequel because of a busy schedule. The studio began courting other writers in May 2007, but as they were unimpressed with their pitches, they convinced Dorsey and Kurtzman to return. The studio also signed on Aaron Kruger, as he impressed Bay and Hasbro president Brian Goldner with his knowledge of the Transformers mythology, and because he was friends with Orsi and Kurtzman, the writing trio were paid $8 million. The three writers spent four months finishing the screenplay while locked in two hotel rooms by Bay, Kruger wrote in his own room and the trio would check on each other's work twice a day. Orsi described the film's theme as being away from home, with the Autobots contemplating living on Earth as they cannot restore Cybertron, while Sam goes to college. He wanted the focus between the robots and humans much more evenly balanced, the stakes to be higher, and the science fiction elements more prominent. Lorenzo Di Bonaventura said that in total, there are around 40 robots in the film, while ILM Scott Farrar has said there are actually 60. Orsi added that he wanted to modulate the humor more, and felt he managed the more outrageous jokes by balancing them with a more serious plot approach to the Transformers mythology. Bay concurred that he wanted to please fans by making the tone darker, and that moms will think it's safe enough to bring the kids back out to the movies despite his trademark sense of humor. Before Transformers was released, producer DeSanto had a very cool idea to introduce the Dinobots, while Bay was interested in an aircraft carrier, which was dropped from the 2007 film. Orsi claimed they did not incorporate these characters into Revenge of the Fallen because they could not think of a way to justify the Dinobots' choice of form, and were unable to fit in the aircraft carrier. Orsi also admitted he was also dismissive of the Dinobots because he does not like dinosaurs. I recognize I am weird in that department, he said, but he became fonder of them during filming because of their popularity with fans. He added I couldn't see why a Transformer would feel the need to disguise himself in front of a bunch of lizards. Movie-wise, I mean, once the general audience is fully on board with the whole thing, maybe Dinobots in the future. However, Michael Bay said he hated the Dinobots and they had never been in consideration for being featured in the movies. Equals 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 Dark of the Moon equals equals equals. For the third film, as a preemptive measure before the release of Revenge of the Fallen, Michael Lucci and Paramount announced on March 16, 2009, that a third film would be released in IMAX 3D on July 1, 2011, which earned a surprised response from director Bay. I said I was taking off a year from Transformers. Paramount made a mistake in dating Transformers 3, they asked me on the phone, I said yes to July 1st, but for 2012, whoops, not 2011, that would mean I would have to start prep in September, no way, my brain needs a break from fighting robots. Screenwriters Roberto Orsi and Alex Kurtzman, who had worked on the two previous Transformers films, declined to return for the third film, with Kurtzman declaring that the franchise is so wonderful that it deserves to be fresh, all the time, we just felt like we'd given it a lot and didn't have an insight for what where to go with it next. Revenge of the Fallen's co-writer Aaron Kruger became the sole screenwriter for Dark of the Moon. Kruger had frequent meetings with Industrial Light and Magic's ILM, visual effects producers, who suggested plot points such as the scenes in Chernobyl. On October 1, 2009, Bay revealed that Dark of the Moon had already gone into pre-production, and its planned 
release was back to its originally intended date of July 1, 2011, rather than 2012, due to the revived interest in 3D technology brought in by the success of Avatar. Talks between Paramount, ILM, and Bay had considered the possibility of the next Transformers film being filmed in 3D, and testing was performed to bring the technology into Bay's work. Bay originally was not much interested in the format as he felt it did not fit his aggressive style of filmmaking, but he was convinced after talks with Avatar director James Cameron, who even offered the technical crew from that film. Cameron reportedly told Bay about 3D, you gotta look at it as a toy, it's another fun tool to help get emotion and character and create an experience. Bay was reluctant to film with 3D cameras since in test he found them to be too cumbersome for his filming style, but he did not want to implement the technology in post-production either since he was not pleased with the results. In addition to using the 3D fusion camera rigs developed by Cameron's team, Bay and the team spent nine months developing a more portable 3D camera that could be brought into location. In a hidden extra for the Blu-ray release of Revenge of the Fallen, Bay expressed his intention to make Transformers 3 not necessarily larger than Revenge of the Fallen, but instead deeper into the mythology, to give it more character development, and to make it darker and more emotional. Unicron is briefly shown in a secret Transformers 3 preview feature in the Revenge of the Fallen Blu-ray disc. Ultimately, the producers decided to forego a plot involving the planet-eating Transformer, and no further comments were ever made on the subject. Having been called Transformers 3 up to that point, the film's final title was revealed to be Dark of the Moon in October 2010. After Revenge of the Fallen was almost universally panned by critics, Bay acknowledged the general flaws of the script, having blamed the 2007-2008 Writers Guild of America strike prior to the film for many problems. Bay promised to not have the dorky comedy from the last film. On March 19, 2010, the script was said to be finished. Equals 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 Age of Extinction equals equals equals. In February 2012, Producer De Bonaventura stated that a fourth film was in the works, aiming for a 2014 release, with Michael Bay to direct and produce. On the same day, Paramount Pictures and Michael Bay announced a June 27, 2014 release date for a fourth film. Aaron Kruger would pen the script and Steve Yablonski would score the film, as each had for the previous film. The film is set four years after the events in Transformers, Dark of the Moon. Shia LaBeouf did not return in any future installments. Mark Wahlberg was instead cast in the lead role. In November 2012, casting began to search for two more leads. Isabel Cornish, Nicola Peltz, Gabriella Wilde and Margaret Qualley were all considered to play the daughter of Mark Wahlberg's character, while Luke Grimes, Landon Livwaron, Brenton Thwaites, Jack Raynor and Hunter Parrish were all considered to play the race car driving boyfriend. Bay announced on his website that Raynor would be the boyfriend and that the fourth film would start the next installment in the overall series. The film was to be a darker sequel to Dark of the Moon and have a different feeling. Peter Cullen, who voiced Optimus Prime in the films, was to reprise his role. Tyrese Gibson was in talks to reprise his role. Glenn Morshower stated that he was contracted for two films and he was to reprise his role, but it was later confirmed that Morshower would not be returning. With a budget of $165 million, filming was expected to take place in London between April and November 2013 once Pain and Gain, another film that Bay was directing, had finished editing. On January 8, 2013, it was announced that Raynor was joining Wahlberg in the lead. On the MichaelBay.com forums, Nelson, the administrator of the website, confirmed that filming would take place in Chicago. On March 20, 2013, the film's plot read, as humanity picks up the pieces, following the conclusion of Transformers, Dark of the Moon, Autobots and Decepticons have all but vanished from the face of the planet. However, a group of powerful, ingenious businessmen and scientists attempt to learn from past Transformer incursions and push the boundaries of technology beyond what they can control, all while an ancient, powerful Transformer menace sets Earth in his crosshairs. The epic adventure and battle between good and evil, freedom and enslavement ensues. But this was later found to be inaccurate. On March 26, 2013, Nicola Peltz was cast as the female lead. Bay confirmed that the movie was to be in 3D. Bay revealed to Collider that actor Stanley Tucci had joined the cast, and that the film would be the first feature film to be shot using smaller digital IMAX 3D cameras. On May 1, 2013, actor Kelsey Grammer was cast as the lead human villain named Harold Adinger. On May 6, 2013, actress Sophia Miles was cast in a major supporting role. That same month, Chinese actress Li Bingbing and comedian T.J. Miller joined the cast. Actor T.J. Miller was confirmed to have joined the cast 
playing Mark Wahlberg's character's best friend who is a mechanic, also revealed were two Autobots who would have the following alternate modes, a black and blue 2013 Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport Vitesse named Drift, and a green 2014 C7 Corvette Stingray concept named Crosshairs. A truck from Western Star Trucks would be Optimus Prime's new alternate mode for the movie. Bumblebee's new alternate mode was revealed to be a modified vintage 1967 Chevrolet Camaro, which later transforms into a 2014 Chevrolet Camaro concept, a green military vehicle, later confirmed to be Hound, and a white emergency response vehicle were also revealed. Filming began in June 2013, in Detroit, Chicago, Austin, Los Angeles, and Hong Kong. Equals 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 the last night equals 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 future and shared universe equals 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 on March 28, 2013, during the release of G.I. Joe, Retaliation, Producer D. Bonaventura announced that he is open to doing a G.I. Joe, Transformers crossover. On July 26, 2013, G.I. Joe, Retaliation Director John M. Chu stated that he is also interested in directing a Transformers, G.I. Joe crossover film. Despite D. Bonaventura having stated on June 23, 2014, that a crossover was not likely to happen, he later stated that a crossover was still a possibility. In March 2015, Akiva Goldsman was tasked to create a Transformers cinematic universe, as to oversee the development of a multi-part sequel, along with prequels and spin-off films in a writer's room style brain trust. At least 12 films are to be pitched for the Transformers Cinematic Universe. On September 17, 2015, Deadline reported that Barrer and Ferrari are to write an animated film that will explore the origins in Cybertron, with a working title Transformers 1. On October 23, 2015, John M. Chu confirmed his intentions to make a crossover film between Transformers, G.I. Joe, and Gem. On October 29, 2015, Chu hinted about Transformers possibly doing crossovers with other Hasbro products. Equals equals crew equals 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 reception equals 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 box office performance equals 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 critical and public reception equals 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 Academy Awards equals 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 see also equals equals the Transformers the movie a 1986 animated film based on the TV series. Transformers, The Ride, an amusement ride based on the film series, G.I. Joe film series, soon to be a shared cinematic universe with ROM, M.A.S.K., Visionaries and Micronauts, equals equals references equals 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 external links equals equals official website, Transformers film series at Al Movie.